All right, hello again, my YouTube friends. I'm going to do a comparison of two D18 Martins. They're both mahogany back and side, Sitka spruce top. Both guitars have LR bags Anthem pickups in it. Both guitars have bone saddles. Ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard, D18 standard um, specifications. This is the 2018 model. I've played this guitar a lot as my gigging guitar because it's cut away and I do use the upper frets frets and register for soloing. Here's the comparison guitar. This is my 2015 Martin D18 mahogany back and side. I don't know if the reflections will let you see that it does have this beautiful flame in um, the mahogany on the back. But this is also Anthem pickup, bone saddle, ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard. It's a D18 standard. Um, both guitars have been played a lot. I've been geeking my cutaway more. So guys have been asking, what difference does the cutaway make? Now, guitar to guitar, if I had two identical guitars, one was, um, if I had two identical cutaways, for instance, one guitar is going to sound a little bit different. They just always have their voice depending on whatever the factors of the wood, the glue, the saddle, etc. are. So if you hear differences in these guitars, can I attribute that to just the cutaway? I don't know. I really, I, I don't think so. Um, I've been told that if you tap the top, the area of the cutaway is the area of the guitar that least affects the tone of the instrument. Regardless, both of these guitars are musical as, as I could possibly hope for. They're wonderful. This is the tool that I use. I need that cutaway because I solo in the upper fret registers. So I'm going to do a comparison of these guitars. And then lastly, I will throw into the mix, and if you see my videos, I know I demo the same guitars a lot because they are what I own. This is an HD C28. So it's an HD28. The C stands for cutaway. So it's rosewood back inside. Everything else is the same. Bone saddle. I've got an Anthem pickup, factory installed, ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard. All guitars have Diodario, Phosphor Bronze, EJ-17s. They're all new strings. So I've got things as equal as possible. So with that being said, I'm going to start with the D18 cutaway. And I'm going to use this pick. This is my blue chip. I believe that's the TD-45. And I'll angle the recorder down. This is where I find it captures the best balanced sound of the guitar. Here's the D18 cutaway. sustaining ring. I can still feel those notes ringing in the body. Um, the guitar's been played a lot. Now this is a 2015 that I bought in 2017, so it maybe has a year more of playing time. Here's the 18 standard.
All right, so these are both very special guitars. I'm going to go back to the 18 cutaway because you may be thinking, wow, that non-cutaway sounded better. It's a special guitar. It absolutely is. Um, here we go. Here is the 18 cutaway. All right, one more time back on the D18 non cutaway. This is the D18 standard fiddle back. So uh, let me know in your comments down below here in YouTube um, what you think. I'm going to switch over just very quickly, let you hear the uh, Rosewood guitar, and then we'll come back again just to see if we can make this as conclusive. Again, I'm going to try and position the camera where I think it captures most of the sound of the guitar. Believe it or not, it's with the body over here, maybe because the mic is to this side of the recorder. Here's the HD-28. No dog here. All right, so uh, we'll quickly, we'll go in reverse order. Here's the 18 non-standard, I'm sorry, the 18 standard, the non-cutaway. Well, I don't know if you're hearing that. I, I feel with the same touch, just a little bit more projection. Now, this is what I deem a special guitar. I don't know that it's because it's not cut away. Uh, you can form your own conclusions. Um, even if this has the edge of tone, what percentage of tone do you guys think? If you think that this guitar sounds better than the cutaways, what percentage do you think it sounds better? Is it 5%, 10%, 15 uh, I'm curious. Let me know what you think. Um, I do think this guitar has something very special going on, and um, let's see, let's play something different.
let's do that same kind of strumming thing. I know we do a lot of hybrid cross picking. So here's the cutaway. strumming on the, the uh, D18 standard. The video is compressing or YouTube is compressing or you can't hear it. This guitar is just a little bit more alive, a little bit more resonant. Um, could be a difference of this bone in the saddle is maybe a little bit more resonant than the other. I'm speculating. I, I don't know that that to be the case. Um, but if you don't need the cutaway, I'll tell you this. I would get a D8 stand, a D18 standard in a heartbeat. But I do use the cutaway. I do a lot of soloing all the way up to the A. I do this a lot. And you can see it causes me to, I can do it, but it causes me to bring my hand over uh, the body joint where the body meets the neck. On the D cutaway, if I go to do that, I'm fitting, my hand's fitting right in that cutaway. It's just easier, so for me, it's a more fluid tool to use for my gigs. Um, I love all of these guitars. I don't think you can go wrong with a D18. I think it's one of the best, most iconic acoustic guitars on the planet. Um, I love that they are very piano-ish. You may not want that, in which case you may opt for a different guitar. the harmonics sustain the ring of these guitars and I think that's indicative of Martin's and um, with that forward shifted scallop bracing that all of these guitars have this HD 28 has it too I hear more jangle I hear the rosewood in this guitar um, which is super special if that's what you want um, there are times for my gigging, I find the 18s with the mahogany, they're just a little bit more in that frequency range without feeding back, and, and they sound great plugged in. So I'm going to leave you there. Uh, welcome your comments. I hope this was as interesting for you as it will be for me listening back when I'm not busy playing and feeling the guitar. Then I can just hear it and um, ask myself, does it sound a lot better? Is it 10%? Is it 15%? Um, I don't necessarily draw the line at those percentiles if you deem it such. I just want a musical instrument that's inspiring. Is it the right tool for the job? Um, if I were doing a lot of finger style and, and just cording and strumming, I probably wouldn't need or use the cutaway. But because I do solo gigs and I loop and I solo over my loops, I use these upper notes a lot. I don't live there, but I like to go there without having to do those hand gymnastics to just get around up to those high notes. So um, that's what I come up with. Welcome your thoughts. All right, thanks guys.